All right, let's take a look at uh, the box. See what it says. It says we got wind speed, UV, solar radiation, wind direction, bubble level, rain gauge, solar power, outdoor temperature and humidity. There's a separate uh, indoor station. Features that the receiver has is a full color display. Displays a bunch of uh, statistics. You can get eight more of those little sensors if you want. Um, and then all the things that it does, Wi-Fi. Uh, they've got something, they've got some sort of website that I'm not using. And uh, yes, connects to Wonderground. I think that's pretty the, the best way to go. Micro SD card, got to get, get one of those. And then it has things where it can, I guess, notify you with an alarm. So, pretty cool. Here's the weather station installed. Uh, it has a rain diffuser here that also has the temperature sensors and probably some other sensors in it. Uh, the, here's the wind sensor, some cups. It has an arrow for wind direction. I think the wind has to be going a little bit for that arrow to turn. Here's the rain collecting funnel. It's about six inches. It's got a uh, bubble level. Try and keep it level. Uh, that is a solar panel to help power stuff. And then right here we got a uh, UV sensor. So one and a half inch PVC water pipe. Is the exact right size to fit in the bottom here. Stop it. Okay, so I'm going to put the pipe on top of the T-post. I'm not going to put the T-post out in the lawn because then it will get in the way of the mower. So I'm going to put it in a place that doesn't get mowed, which is behind a tree. And then the pipe can go over that. Okay, we're going to install the U-bolts. Probably drop the nuts a few times. I'm going to put the pipe on the T-post. And there we go, hopefully that bubble level says it's level, because I can't tell. So I was worried that it might not, it might be hard to set up, but I just turned this thing on and it's just reading what the outdoor sensor is saying, it's reading what the indoor sensor is saying, has a nice screen, could not have been any easier to set up. Taking a look at the uh, indoor screen device. In the top left, you can see that it's hooked up to Wonderground. Um, it'll tell you the signal strength to the outdoor weather station. And it'll tell you the signal strength for Wi-Fi. Um, tell you the date and the time. Temperatures outdoor and indoor. You can see the wind speed there. Shows you the current speed. And then um, it'll show you, like, gusts also. Uh, right now, we're, we've gotten... 0.16 inches of rain. Uh, in the bottom left here we got sunrise is currently 743. Sunset is 451. You gotta add in the longitude and latitude for that part to work. And it'll show you where the sun is in the sky. And it will show you what phase the moon is at. And then it gives you some barometric stuff. Okay, so a disadvantage of this is that it's not a touch screen. You gotta press the buttons a whole bunch to do whatever you want to do. So to cycle through the settings, you gotta press a bunch of buttons. And when you want to type in a Wi-Fi password or something, you gotta you know every letter takes you about twenty button presses. But uh, once it's done, it's done. And it remembers it when you uh, unplug it and plug it back in. So that's good.
you hook it up to Wonderground, then anyone can go online and see what the weather is like at your weather station. So, you know, you just remember that page for, on your smartphone, and now, you know, everyone in the family doesn't need one of these devices here. They can just look at it online. Or if you're away from your house, you can find out what's going on at your house. Pretty cool.